What's good? This is Joseph for Run the Comics. Peace, peace, peace. I haven't done a video in a minute, and I have a doozy. Mega haul. This is probably the biggest mega haul I've done. It's a lot of books, but I'm gonna try and get through these pretty quickly. I may stop for a few, just kind of describe them why I got it, but I'm gonna try and knock them all. Yeah, there's even more over here. <laughs> but first, hit these accessories. Uh, as you may know, I think Marvel's still doing their Marvel. Um, Born or Heroes Reborn, a different take on if the Avengers were not there, and you know it's kind of interesting to to uh, to see these cards they were giving out. And I was able to snag four of them. People are actually selling these, and the, the collectibles market is really picking up, especially with different cards and and other accessories. This is something which I picked up. Um, Tinian, Tinian, uh, who put out the something's killing the children his website tinyonion.com these pins I'm a big pin collector so I just grabbed one of each of the main pins which they have of the main character the, the seal and also um, Erica Slaughter's uh, little friend there so uh, I was able to get that so that was really dope these this artist by the name of Ink One I saw him on uh, Instagram and he has some really dope pins that he created it actually got a Young 3 Raps <laughs> collectible card from 2 e threw in there which is with some other stuff, which is some stickers, which is dope. But this is what I saw, and this is what I picked up. This Voltron pin. All, he had all these um, popular characters, which he gave all of them chains and, and medallions with their symbol on them. So I thought this was real dope as one who collects have a Voltron um, a figure. Plus I have a Voltron comic and some other Voltron um, memorabilia, but one of my favorite cartoons while growing up was Voltron. Still is one of my favorite ones. I haven't seen the ones that came out recently. I still haven't seen those, but these are some dope pins. I get a close-up of the... Uh, see the handiwork. So that's really dope. And he threw this one in for free. So that's his tag, Ink1. Look him up on uh, Instagram and uh, check out his website. Now let's get into these comics. Let's run through these. First off, this uh, this one didn't come in the, uh, the the case. Actually, another book came in the case, but I took it and put this one there. This is Static Number One, um, One Static Season One, the foil, um, coiful foil cover, which is really dope. So I definitely had to grab that one. Um, you may see that one again. Here's that Heroes Born I was talking about. This is Number Two. It's the one in 25 with Hyperion on the cover. I picked these up and I'm starting to like these black and white and this is for once in future I think this may be like 14 I can't remember the number um, right off the top of my bat but this is for once in the future on one of the uh, recent covers black and white sketch variant this is for ultra mega I believe this is number two two or three black and white sketch variant really dope got these from eBay there's the Erica Slaughter, 8th printing, the one that you received for free if you ordered um, Berserker, two of the Berserker um, recent issues, so but I've got this one online, um, so that was really dope to have picked that up, got another copy of that. This right here, from Stranger Comics, I am a um, collector of Stranger Comics comics, <laughs> this is uh, um, Niobe. The main characters, but this book I believe is Erethun number two or three. This is really dope from Niobe. She has two new series, two new books coming out this year, which I can't wait for those. I saw this because one, I'm a big fan of this character who was a part of um, the group Hyperion was a part of, which I I'm now kind of drawing a blank of what's name of the group, but this is really dope. This is Nighthawk Supreme Power. This limited series, one of six. I'm trying to collect these, so I'll be able to find this one, number one and two. So I gotta get the others. Here it is. Name of the team: Squadron Supreme. And I was able to find these which is a Straczynski um, written book. 
This is number three. Four. Five. And six. That was for that particular volume. Here's Supreme Power. All these are, well, this is one of the Max series, which is more mature series. This is number two for Supreme Power. This is a, um, a, it's a key book, which I forgot who's actually the first uh, appearance in this book. But this is a key for Supreme Power. That was two. This is seven. And now we have Undiscovered Country. I'm starting to pick back up a little bit with this this um, series. They're up in the double digits now, but I had to go back and get number two, which I did not have. I had one, three, I believe, and four, but I did not have number two, so I picked this one up, so that's number two. Here's another series which is very interesting about a world where the whole racial divide has been reversed. So it's called Black Cotton, and this is number three from Scout Comics. Canto. I was able to go to my LCS and find some of number six from the first arc of Canto. And I actually was able to find, whoops, two of them. So I got two copies of them of Canto number six from the first arc. So that's really dope. And here's Berserker. This is the foil cover for number three. Really dope. I got this because I have another one of Seven to Eternity's um, version variants, but I did not have this one, which I believe is, I do not know the number, and I'm not gonna try and guess because I'm doing this with one hand, but this is Seven to Eternity, one of the later um, recent um, uh, uh, books, because they're about to end. I think they have one more book to go to finish the entire story of Seven to Eternity. Ah, Thulsa Doom one of the Conan Bar Barbarian characters and I was able to find another of the entire run. This is uh, number four. And I'll show you the rest when they come up. This is Fathom number zero from Michael Turner. This character, when he started his Aspen comics, I was able to find these. These were very cheap, we were able to find. In quarter bins. We have Blackest Night number two. Uh, I believe it was of a eight um, eight part series when they had the Blackest Night event. So to find that, of course, you know, Green Lantern is one of my favorite characters. So definitely grab that. This is the Spectre number forty six. Never find the Spectre. I'm trying to get this run, which I think is the third volume. I love the artwork in it. It's third or second volume, but it's really dope. So that's the Spectre number forty six. Got some Alex Ross goodness. Battle of the Planets and Witchblade, number one, from Top Cow Image. So this is really dope. The Gata Man, I remember when I was a kid, I used to watch that cartoon, used to come on uh, around the same time as Flintstones and some others. So that's really dope. My first introduction to anything of Japanese animation. So it was, it was called something, it wasn't called, I think it was called Gata Man, I think it was called um, uh, something of the planets. Yo, yeah, here's Battle of the Planets, the <laughs> Battle of the Planets. But that's what the, the American naming of it. We have the Green Lantern special number one. To deal with some of the issues that were going on back in the day, like apartheid. It still has some ramifications today. This is Green Lantern deal with it and um Hal Jordan, not Hal Jordan, but um well Hal Jordan and also John Stewart. So this is really dope to have found. Also some more, some more Green Lantern love. We got Green Lantern number 12. This, there is a pop with Spider Man in this particular get up. It's him and a Def Lock. But I saw this book and I had to grab it. was for the, for the cheap, but it was a pretty good condition. And it talks about the revenge of the Sinister Six. As we know, they're going to come up somewhere <laughs> in, the, in, the, in, the, in the movie. So that's really dope. Here we have the free comic book. They've been trying to find this Ultimate Spider Man number one. I'm trying to get all these early free comic book day books so I was able to find this and that was really dope. Here's some of Rafael Anko's artwork. Really dope artist. 
the symmetry and mechanism and here is symmetry number eight so these are some that i was trying to fill up my run i finally got all of symmetry and mechanism so now i'm getting some of the um, the first printings which i missed so this was number eight here's mechanism and this one is number four is that Tulsa Doom. There's number one, Alex Ross cover. Two. And that's three, and you already saw four. So I have, that's two, um, I have two copies of that run, which is a four issue run. Here's that Black Cotton again. This is issue number two from Scout Comics. So that's really dope. Here's Witchblade number 25, Top Cow Image. I'm kind of grabbing these whenever I can. I really want the Jason um, Tyler Christopher um, run of covers, which he was doing, which is basically in the upper hundreds. But anytime I find some of these, um, like issue number 25, 50, 100, I'll grab those. This is Witchblade number 25. It's actually autographed by J.D. Smith. Another one of um, Michael Turner's characters from the Fathom universe. This is Kiani. This is the Kiani number one. And here's the Blockbuster, which has caused a lot of stir. <laughs> this is actually a good story. A nice house on the lake. I was able to find this book and get a number of copies. There's one, there's two. Three, four of the first printing of issue number one. So I'm really happy about those. I think it's going to do very well. I think it's going to probably be just as big as something is killing the children. So look out for that on DC actually. So here we have um, Green Lantern number 36, 37, 38. Then we're going to Aquaman, the Joshua Middleson variants. I'm getting, trying to get all of his, trying to collect all these whenever I can. This is issue number 35. Here we have Silencer, issue number 16. The, the, um, the number issue that I was actually looking for, which is the first appearance of, um, I think her name is Smoke. Um, this character right here, I thought this was the first appearance, but it's number 15, which is Silencer's half-sister. So I need to get number 15. Here's the Adventures of the Super Sons. The, the new, no not the new one. This is the previous run, Adventure, because now they have the Challenge of the Super Sons. So this is Adventure of the Super Sons, trying to collect that run. This is number eight. This is Tribe, which was on Image back in the day. Um, Johnson and Strowman. Strowman has done a lot of um, artwork for for Marvel um, I think he did some DC work too I uh, know he used to illustrate um, the Teen Titans uh, not Teen Titans he used to illustrate the um, the, 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 the New Mutants so but yeah I, I, I want to get the one that is signed by by them but this is number one this is Tribe issue number two there's an issue number three and an issue number zero, which is actually issue number four. This book right here, The Super Crook, which is done by Mark Millar, this is, I think, going to be a new um, Netflix series that he's going to bring out. So, that's something which I heard, so I said, let me grab this, because I saw this in the bookstore um, for 50 cents. So, I got the entire run. This is issue one. Two, this is when basically the the, the bad guys trying to become the good guys. <laughs> Three and four. Here we have Silk. This is the second printing without the mask. So it's really dope. I have both the first and the second printing. Here is Boom Studios Magic The Gathering. This is issue number three. Really dope issue. I actually like the, the magic series. And this is number three, the Planeswalker variant. This is number four. 
actually on the back. No, no, number two Planeswalker variant. I think I was correct about the other one. Oh no, it's actually number one Planeswalker variant. So I'm getting everything all wrong. <laughs> and here's another house on the lake, number one. And another one. And another one. So I've been grabbing these. That's three of those. That was the um, first cover. This is the variant cover for number one, the order the B cover. I have two of those. And another series that is heating up from Image is Philadelphia. And I was able to find two of those. I have the variant of this cover. This is the first um, cover, the A cover for Philadelphia. Here we have Green Lantern number three. This is the current series. This is the A cover. John Stewart getting beat down. Here we have Bitter Root, which is an awesome story for Image Comics. You have to check it out. This is number four. I remember when I was trying to find this issue, I was able to finally find this for a price which I was willing to pay <laughs> because these first prints and first, this is the first arc for Bitter Root. They're on arc number three. Basically, I think it's about to end. So, this is number four. I got some Spawn Love, got a few Spawn books, this is Spawn 29, Spawn 58, and Spawn 76, and here we have Immortal Hulk, I was able to find this in Half Price Books, this is Immortal Hulk number 7, Alex Ross Goodness, Here's Michael Turner's Fathom. This is number one. So you saw number zero, so this is number one. This is really dope. Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. This is issue number four. Where you got a Hulk, the totally awesome Hulk, <laughs> and Devil Dinosaur. And here's issue number three. This is actually a dope um, book. And I like how they, they illustrate this. Illustrate almost like a manga, and this is for Future State Gotham. Um, we deal with the Red Hood story. So this is number two. Here's another dope story about um, uh, basically the world going crazy and basically the, the planet is being destroyed, so trying to find some answers. This is Deep Beyond, this is issue number four. And issue number five, it's actually a pretty good story. Then we have an issue on um, book which I was not going to get, but I decided to pick up and get it. And this is Department of Truth. This is issue number, I believe, five. Yep, issue number five on the, I think it's the B or, no, not B, I think it's the C cover. And another story which is actually pretty good, we're talking about reincarnation, which is, um, I think, the character whose body right here that the that death took over she's Indian I believe and this is called the many deaths of Layla Starr and this is number two we have issue number 12 of something is killing the children this is the Jenny Frizen cover the virgin variant and here's the blank cover And here we have Ultra Mega. Love this, like a, like a kaiju story. This is number three. This is the Ryan Otley variant. Here's Crossover, which is about you know the realizations that superheroes have come to to life and have come into the world and how they're dealing with it. This is Crossover number six. Strange Academy, which is probably one of the, uh, this is a great Academy story. We had a bunch of, we have X-Men Academy, we had Avengers Academy, we have Teen Titans doing something, but Strange Academy is actually a very good story. I actually like the way it's going, and I've been collecting all the Art Adam covers. So this is Desi um, on the cover of this one, and this was issue number 10. Here we have Milestone Returns. This was the basically reintroduction of the Milestone 
DC characters from the 90s. They're back as I showed you the static um, season one cover. So this is basically a reintroduction of the cover of the characters. This is an interesting story, Mortal Hulk Time of Monsters. It kind of deals almost like with the beginning of Gamma, it seems, and the first Hulk. So it's an interesting story, interesting story. Um, illustrated very wild, but uh, it's something to check out. Here's Geiger, number one. This is the third printing, the yeah, third printing. I like the story. Really dope character, um, really interesting character, troubled character, but it, it, it's, it's really good. I really like the story, and um, I like to see where it take where they take this story. Ah, Spawn, Tom McFarlane, Spawn. Ah, uh, you have a new series about to start, new universe about to start, but this is going back to issue 317. I got two of those. This is Carmen Gillamark's Carmen number three, based about death and somebody who dies and kind of coming back. But this Carmen is not really an angel. It's kind of just a, a person that help you move from one from life to death after killing yourself. So kind of an interesting story. Another story kind of like about reincarnation. So that's Carmen number three. Here's Bitterroot, Bitterroot number 12. This is the current arc, the third storyline of Bitterroot. So that's dope, just the um, first covers. This is Radiant Black, I love this. This is Radiant Black number one and two. These are the third printings of one and two for Radiant Black. Really dope story. You're gonna hear me say that a lot. <laughs> it's a really dope story about a guy who received these powers. Um, there's a twist that came at, at uh, after after two, so we're gonna see how this story gonna go. Wonder Girl. This is the beginning of the Wonder Girl series of um, uh, yeah, yeah, I forgot her first name, Floor, but who became the new um, was Wonder Woman for for a minute. <laughs> now she's Wonder Girl own series. So I got one, two of those. Here's Miracle Molly in the Batman 108. I got this one because of the art germ cover, but this character now, it seems more interesting than even Punchline. And I think she has more legs on her than Punchline. So we're gonna see how her story goes. So this will be very interesting. Another foil cover for Berserker. This is number one. This is the third printing, I mean it's the third printing. Yeah, the third printing of number one. Really dope. Here's the Heroes Reborn. You saw I had number two. Well, this is number one. This is the Art Germ number one. So that's pretty dope. With um, with a power, not Power Girl, um, Warrior Woman or something like that. <laughs> it's not Wonder Woman, but it's another character that's very similar to Wonder Woman. Here's Berserker number two. Really dope. This is crossover number six also. This is the, the Ian Bertrand um, cover. This is the um, version variant cover. This is crossover number six, which is illustrated by um, the Savage Dragon creator, um, Eric Larson. So I had to get that one because this looks so dope. And of course, crossover deals with you know the fictional characters and superheroes and, and things of that nature coming over. So. It was really dope seeing that. Here is ENIAC number three. The whole bad idea story that caused a big uproar in comics. <laughs> Trying to figure out, putting out these not really doing variants. So, but this is what they call a, they have the first prints, they have their not a first prints. So it's kind of interesting take, but they're dissolving, but they're going to be changing to some other entity. So we're going to see how that's going to transpire end of this year. And lastly, from this box, this is DC Festival of Heroes, talking about our Asian American heroes or Asian heroes in the DC universe. So this is pretty dope with um, uh, Bat, 
it's not Batgirl, but it's um I've got her name, um Cassandra, Cassandra Kane, I believe. So I think this is Batgirl or whatever name she goes. No, no, she goes by another name. But it's Cassandra Kane. So that's pretty interesting. So I'm gonna let that be part one of this mega haul. These are gonna have to have their own own uh <laughs> own video because I'm doing everything in one video is going to be too long so stay tuned part two of the mega haul is going to happen very shortly hope you enjoyed it so far I'm going to see you in a bit all right grace and peace